What's up everyone, this is Mo Gaming here, and today I'm going to show you how to fix the PlayStation 4 error code CE-34054-6. Uh, and this is a common PlayStation 4 error code that says database is corrupted, essentially, like, what do you do? <laughs> um, so, in this uh, video, I'm going to basically show you how to get that error code fixed. The first thing I will recommend is, as you saw as the video started, make sure your PlayStation 4 is updated to the latest version. Um, that, that does actually kind of matter. It can play a role and part into why you're having an error or an issue. Uh, so just an FYI. So most of the time this error happens, like let's say you're playing Shadow of Mordor or Call of Duty. It happens to me actually with Call of Duty a lot. And it just straight up just crashes and it just says rebuild your database or database error. And you're probably like, what the hell is this? What do I do? So what you're going to do to essentially fix this, and it's a very simple and quick fix, um, you're going to turn off your PlayStation 4, uh, you're going to go to power, and you're going to turn it off completely. You're not going to put it in rest mode like you see my glorious PS5 in. Um, you're going to completely turn it off. Uh, as it's turning off, I'm going to kind of tell you like what you're going to do. We're going to go into safe mode, and it's essentially a place where you can troubleshoot a lot of errors that you're possibly facing. And that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to go in there and do it. So once it's completely turned off, uh, I'll show you how to enter into safe mode and the one quick and very simple step that we have to do to essentially fix it. I do wish they had it right in the settings itself. They don't do that for the PlayStation 5 either, to my knowledge. Uh, I feel like it would be so much easier rather than going to safe mode because it's there's comp complexities in going into safe mode, but whatever. <laughs> so it's turned off. What we're going to do is we're going to hold the power button for about eight to 10 seconds. Now you're supposed to hear two beeps. My PlayStation 4 doesn't make any beeps. So I just guesstimate in my head on when eight to 10 seconds have passed and right about so, uh, you let go. And voila, you are in safe mode. So to be able to work in safe mode, you need to connect a DualShock cable to the U uh, USB to your DualShock controller, sorry, a USB cable to your DualShock controller and plus press the PlayStation button. In here, you can see the analog sticks don't work and you have to use the D-pad. Uh, just to give you some insight, that's how you use this. A lot of people are usually get confused at this part. Now, once you're in here, you're going to do step number five, which is rebuild database. This is all that you're good doing. It says it can take a few hours. That is true. It depends on your system, your console, how many games you have, how much memory you have, how much it's corrupted, possibly how much issues your PlayStation has. It can take time. Uh, for me personally, it doesn't take more than like a minute or so. I haven't done it in a while. My system just updated in my head. It should be perfectly fine. It shouldn't take too long, but I ran it just as an FYI or just to show you guys, give you a perspective on like basically what happens or how it looks like. But essentially, once this is built, it, you will be able to like kind of go back into your games and play it to a certain degree fairly fine. It should not crash anymore. Now there is a possibility in the future within 30 days or maybe a month or a week or so, it can start happening again. There is a high chance and probability because if it's happened once, it, there's a possibility that it, it, it's the system or the software itself that is causing these issues. So you might want to kind of like routinely do it every two weeks or every month, whatever you find like acceptable to your terms. Kind of like go down that route and do it from that perspective. I would highly recommend you like kind of look into that and be, you know, ensure that you are updating your system or re rebuilding the database <laughs> at a good pace so this error isn't happening anymore. Um, so yeah, that, as you can see, my it's almost done, five seconds left. It says 60 seconds for me. Um, like I said, it doesn't take long for my PlayStation 4 or my system to do the rebuilding and voila, once it's done, it'll take you back to the home screen of this. Um, so yeah, that's basically what you gotta do. Um, if you guys overall like this video, please smash that like button, helps a lot. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. On that, Mogaming out, peace.